kick stand. All right, last thing to do on this little mini moto build are put some fog lights. All the parts for this bike came from Thailand. This I got off eBay, and I think it's from the United States. There is a pretty nice on off switch. It's actually very similar to the one on my BMW. It's actually the same. Here are the cute little fog lights for this bike. Couple of them here. This looks pretty cool. Kind of got an LED halo. They're not very expensive, so I'm not expecting them to be high quality, um, last forever type of stuff, but I think these are going to look pretty rad. Here is your connecting hardware. A little spacer. And out of all the stuff we got, this has instructions. Looks like mounting supplies. Here are your wiring hardware. Yeah, it looks like this is a direct wire to the bike. And like everything, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to figure it out as I go. But we do have instructions that look like they come in a few languages and English is one of them, so that is fantastic. Um, it has, you have to take the headlight apart, it looks like, okay. And connect to the lighting in there, that's how it wires in, okay. You have your mounts, looks like they mount right about there. And then, Tools required, how to install the on-off switch, and then the wiring diagram. So this actually is going to be really helpful. Let's get it done. I'm right, putting in these fog lights on this little mini moto. Tools required, probably an impact multimeter, make sure you're doing stuff right, pressure wrench maybe, 10 millimeter maybe, and then we need this T. 40, Phillips, disconnect the battery, your Allen key that you use on almost all the parts on the bike, knife, Phillips, that's about it, should be pretty easy, um, got all the parts laid out and the instructions are actually really helpful. Everything I've bought this is the only thing that has instructions that make sense and is helpful. So looking forward to getting those on and see what it looks like.
Just wanted to zoom in real quick. I'm assuming you're supposed to wire this all in here. It looks like there's a lot of extra wire. I'm pretty sure it's all gonna fit. I don't like the connections that they give you, those right there. So I use my own, these. So this right here and this right here, I'm gonna connect with another blue one of those, my own connections, and then heat shrink wrap those. Uh, I think they're higher quality than whatever this is that it comes with. Other than that, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of these so far. Look pretty sharp and uh, finish up the wiring and see what they look like. Got everything wired up from the new hardware and I'm about to connect to the bike here. And I should probably disconnect the battery. These instructions are really, really helpful. They're the most uh, beneficial instructions, the best instructions I've had, only instructions I've had on this entire project. And one thing I like about instructions is when they're accurate start to finish. And these instructions are, I got these on eBay. I don't remember the name of the brand, unfortunately. And it wasn't on the instructions here. Um, I did not like the connectors they gave me to connect these wires right here, so I used my own three right there. I'm going to shrink wrap these, and I have the battery open as well. And now for the moment of truth, see if everything still works, minus the headlight, uh, everything else works. Then the headlight is just this pin, so there's no real wiring there. Um, if everything works, I'll shrink wrap those up and then put everything back together and be done. So, turn signals work, check. Uh, dashboard works properly. Fog lights look like they work. Liking it. That's pretty bright. Uh, for how much I paid for these, around 40 bucks. Pretty happy with the way they mount. Little spacer there, lock tight, uh, lock washer, pretty heavy product, wire straight into the headlight. There is a little extra wire. I'm curious if this is all going to fit with the headlight, and I will try that right now. I love the switch here. You can see how it lights up. It's awesome and they do look really sharp I'm going to little walk around here of the bike try not to show you the whole bike if you haven't watched all the videos but fog light install really successful OEM connections very very bright I wish they were lower on the crash bars but other than that Adds a ton of visibility to the bike.